There's a story in The Sun today, page 13 of The Sun, which I think is buried, seeing as what a good story it is. Just, it's one of those things where, politically, it's so damaging, that it turns out that Gillian Keegan has uh, approved spending £34 million revamping her offices, um, and the construction uh, agents who are involved say there would be a focus on sensory, cognitive, physical or developmental needs along with improved lighting and a muted colour palette so that's all right then so they've got a muted a colour palette that's lovely I'm a sure, lovely move i'm sure everyone will love that but she's also done an interview today she did she did the round of interviews today to itv she said something which i thought was pretty extraordinary it is not the job of the Department for Education, but we chose to do that because we wanted to make sure that we had that information centrally. On top of that, we wanted to... On that, sorry. Yeah. A school collapsed. Yes. And it took you four years to send out questionnaires to find out how many schools had rank. Now, we sent a warning out to the people responsible. But you're saying that the government is not responsible, ultimately, no. for the safety of children in schools. The, the school building's responsibility is with local authorities and multi-academy trusts. Do you believe the government did everything but we in its have, power? But, but we've taken further now. Do you believe the government did everything in its power, has done everything in its power, to make sure that children aren't being taught in schools that could collapse without warning? Absolutely, because the responsible bodies, the responsible bodies have that duty. What we have done since is we have basically said we want to have more information centrally. Well, I mean, so I don't think you should be congratulated on that. I mean, the, there are literally children. I'm not looking to, to be congratulated. I'm there just are, saying what we have done. There are literally children who have been going to school in buildings that could have collapsed. Children could have been seriously injured. No, the, no. Children could have died. And only now are you assigning caseworkers and money to sort this no, out. No, the responsible bodies have always been responsible for making sure they have surveyors, making sure they look at things like asbestos. Look, I, asbestos I think that is racket. pretty disingenuous. I mean, to say the least. I mean, it is true that technically, in statutory terms, the local authorities and multi-academy trust chains, i.e. schools which are not run by local authorities, it is their responsibility to make sure that buildings are safe. That is true. But come on. The Department for Education has oversight over all of this. The Department for Education and the government centrally is the one who sets capital budgets. And it is capital budgets allocated by the Department for Education which basically determines whether or not your school is going to be rebuilt and what repairs there are going to be. And we should just talk about this. I mean, this is a story slightly more widely, which, was interest, which has interested me for quite a long time. I mean, this the state of the school's estate is so much more than just this issue around concrete. Generally speaking, and you talk to any head teacher about this or, or any teacher, there has just been a gradual decline in the school estate over the last five to ten years or so. And we know that because it is inevitable, because as soon as you start substantially cutting back on capital budgets, and the government say, well, we've restored it to some extent, OK, to some extent. But it is, you doesn't have to take, go and look at any local paper over the last few years, and you will find story after story of schools needing boilers replacing. It's not happening. Uh, schools needing roofs replacing. It's not happening. I remember speaking to a head teacher not long ago who, you know, every time it rains, they have to bring the yeah, saucepans out. They have to bring out the buckets, exactly. And the buckets out. And they're doing their own fundraising just to mend their own roofs. And this is crazy. I mean, it's absolutely, it's not just crazy. It is a, it is a national disgrace. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 